Hey guys, what's happening? Clipper and Kitten. And tonight we are debuting um, first in what we hope will be a long, lengthy um, addition to our channel, the opening of mystery boxes. And tonight, by sheer luck of the draw or luck of the uh, arrival from FedEx, I will be going first with some pro wrestling loot. And the story behind us getting into this um, sort of endeavor, Kit was one day watching YouTube and she came across different YouTube channels of various um, personalities that were getting mystery boxes from Disney, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And um, she decided she wanted to do that and she also wanted me to get into the action. And with me with the Disney boxes, where I'm primarily only a fan as of now, while, while Nana is, is fastly a, a coming into my heart, Right now, the, my biggest um, fandom I have in Disney is of Donald Fauntleroy. Duh. Yeah. And since I can't get a mystery box just to Donald, um, I was wondering what could be something that I like. And something that I loved when I was a little kid was professional wrestling. I mean, um, if you've been watching our videos, you know I'm a big basketball fan. Speaking of which, go Winthrop. You're going to find out their NCAA tournament seating this coming Sunday. Can't wait to watch them. But back when I was little, professional wrestling was pretty much my life. And um, if it was on television, I, I was watching. And growing up, um, where I grew up in southeast Kentucky, there was a, a promotion in the area known as Smoky Mountain Wrestling that came to um, places that was close enough for me to go to as a little boy. And they were some of my greatest memories that I had with my mom. She'd take me to the matches, and we just have a blast. So when I saw people on YouTube getting these boxes from Pro Wrestling Loot, I figured I'd give it a shot. And Kitten, you want to tell the people what is supposed to be in this box before I dig into it? Okay, let's see if I can remember. A toy of some sort. What is it called? Like a figurine figure sort of something? Yeah. A shirt and an uh, autograph, autograph picture. Yeah. Uh, there could be, what, a mask in there? Yeah, a mask. Could be a hat. Yeah, all just all sorts of different things. And when you place your order with Pro Wrestling Loot, um, you tell them what shirt size that you want, and they'll send you a shirt to um, your specification. But with all this, though, it's purely um, by surprise. You don't know what you're going to get. But if you're a wrestling fan of any age, mm -hmm. chances are, from what I saw on the videos, it appeals to someone that maybe watched it in the 90s or 2000s, might have got out of it, or maybe some fa uh, some fans that are c watching the current product now. Mm -hmm. And for maybe some of the uh, younger fans, it might be a little bit of a history lesson on some of the older wrestlers. And I think, uh, I'm not 100%, um, but I think that also before the box comes out, they sort of release like an idea of who it's going to feature or yeah. what it's going to feature or something like that. So you sort of have an idea that way if you want to subscribe one month, skip a month because you don't like what's going to be in the next box. Yeah. Like it gives you a sort of an idea so you can decide how many times you want to get the box and continue and all it, that. It's nice flexibility to have. So with no further ado, um, yeah. we went out shopping today. When we got home, there it was on the porch. I've been waiting with bated breath for about two <laughs> hours for us to take care of some errands here at the house and uh, get some um, food in our stomachs. So with no further ado, here's our first uh, unboxing. Do you want me to hold it for you? I'll, I'll open it. And I want to see if the spoiler sheet is anywhere in okay. here. I'm equally as excited to see what's in here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to open the box and you tell me if you see the spoiler sheet. Okay. Nope. Okay. Oh my God, you're going to be so excited. Okay, I hope so. This is a t-shirt. I'm going to open that first because that's, like I said, pure luck of the draw. Yes. Oh, yes. I mentioned Smoky Mountain Wrestling. I mean, it had it yeah. They had the legendary tag team Rock and Roll Express. Can you see it? Turn it a little bit more. That's good. Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, one of the most legendary tag teams in the history of professional wrestling. <laughs> There's a so t-shirt of Ricky and Robert. That has made this box. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I pull out. The, the rest of the video, that right there, makes it worth it to me. We saw last month that they were going to feature the Rock and Roll Express. Which is one of the reasons why we decided yeah. to get this box particularly. So I am oh, overjoyed. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much, Kitten. I'm feeling around. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I want to pull this out. Mm-hmm. 
We got a Harley Race um, figure. Harley Race, one of the most legendary wrestlers of all time. Sadly, he passed away um, not very long ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, legendary wrestler in the NWA. Um, he later wrestled in the WWF as King Harley Race. And when I started watching wrestling, he had retired into the role of a manager. And I remember when he van when he managed Vader when he was in WCW. So this is a very nice uh, figure as well of um, Harley Race. That's really cool. It's yes, made it really well. Look, he's got all of his little tattoos. Yes, and got and has a, I believe that's a replica of the NWA Championship belt that he wore a number of times. That was really cool. Okay, the next time I believe this is a DVD, and it's the best of Sting in Japan. Oh, the man called Sting, one of my favorite wrestlers from the nineties, and on uh, the back of the DVD says the matches. Um, it's got a couple with um, the great Muta, one of the most legendary wrestlers to come out of Japan, and also a match with one of my favorite wrestlers. It looks like Ravishing Rick Rude. Oh. So that's going to be a, a nice thing to watch. So I'm definitely loving this uh, so far. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay. Um, we'll have to watch that for sure later. Definitely. Okay. And I'm not looking at anything like this, so I don't know what it is. But Kitten, do you want to see how many much? I think this is a poster, and this is the picture. Is that am I right? I'm trying not. Yeah, to I think this is a poster of okay. some sort or an advertisement or something. Okay. You want to go ahead and open that? Yeah, poster is next. This is cool. The Dallas Sportatorium, a poster of the old Dallas Sportatorium, home of Texas wrestling. Um, you see the years it was active, 1935 to 1998. Um, this is special to me because um, in the early 90s, there was a promotion that started out of the Sportatorium called the Global Wrestling Federation. It used to air every day on ESPN at 4 o'clock. Can I see? Yeah. And I would come home each day and after school and watch wrestling on ESPN. At the time, that was the only time I watched ESPN. That's really cool. So um, I watched many a great match from the Sportatorium. And for those wrestling historians, you know of the great uh, World Class Championship Wrestling, the organization that, um, or the territory that Fritz von Erich ran with, the, with his talented sons, who unfortunately, they had a lot of bad luck in that family, um, a lot of premature deaths. But oh. in their heyday, they were all talented each in their own way and um, really loved the Dallas Sportatorium. So that's a very neat poster to we'll have. We'll get a frame for him. We'll frame it. Yes, we will. Okay. I want to say this is your autograph. I'm yeah, thinking. I think this is the autograph. It, from what we saw, it was always in plastic. Yeah, okay. and that looks like the spoiler. Okay. So each box does come with a spoiler. Um, if you're like me, you try not to see that. And, and if you're also like me, you don't want to see anything until you unwrap it. Because it's kind of like, if you're a wrestling fan, this is kind of like maybe going back to um, this is like a Christmas really cool time. Box. Because you're going to get a surprise. You're going to get something that you like, but you don't know what it is until you open it. So that's... That's a really cool thing about this. Okay, the, and no further ado, the autograph is, well, actually, I think, well, this is a certificate of authenticity. Yeah. Some of the boxes have a card in the back of them, so that's what I thought that was. Yes. An the Honky Tonk Man. An autograph picture of the Honky Tonk Man. Another one of my favorites. That's really cool. One, I believe, um, I know for a time he was the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. He may still or still not have that record. I'm not exactly sure. Um, That's a cool picture too. I like that picture. So this was this was absolutely amazing. I mean, show them the little certificate on the yeah. back there. The they come with a certificate of authenticity on the back there. You got your separate card, and then you've got the authenticized like sticker right there. So this was just this was amazing. I mean, they knocked it out of the park. Yes, they did. It's just like they were like... They came in from the top rope. They came in from the Body top rope. Body slammed you with yeah. all their awesome stuff. And they've got me in, into submission as far as submitting another order to Pro Wrestling Luke for next month's box because... And this box was, what, $25, $30? I think it was around the 30 to $35 range. Um, this first box, there was a little bit of a um, discount because one of our yeah, people we, we follow on YouTube... He had a discount code in his channel, 
and it goes for everyone and what we'll do is we'll link that yeah so uh, you we'll can link uh, the video with his um coupon code and then um we'll also rank uh rank link pro wrestling loot down below their website so you can go and check it out and see if it's something you might be interested in yeah and i'm telling you right now guys if if you love wrestling from any era and you would like to um, add to your collection, get some really nice things, and be surprised once a month, I mean, definitely give them a chance. And that's a really good value, too, for you get an autograph, you got a DVD, you got a figure, you got a poster, you got a t-shirt. Exactly. If, you, if, you, if you're like a, just a wrestling fan and you just like to collect wrestling merchandise, yeah, this is definitely so the way cool. to go. And here is a um, look at the spoiler sheet. Has you everything in there. But really. And it has a little picture. Look, I was looking at it. It has a little picture showing him yeah. signing them. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good catch there. Yeah, that's, the, that's really cool. So, pro wrestling loot, it's really got a hold on me. <laughs> so, which, which hold? It, it's got the hold of um, grabbing my wallet so I can uh, so they can take my debit card and just, you know. Oh, I thought you were going a whole different way with that. I thought you were. it was a figure four hold or a. A choke hold, or I thought you was going for a hold, a wrestling hold. Well, you could say they've got, they may have a, a choke hold on my bank account if they keep doing this <laughs> stuff, but definitely well worth it, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully in the in the coming weeks, Kit will be getting some of her first mystery boxes. So I'm for... still like, okay, this is our our living room. This is the windows with the curtains. I've been sitting here every day just waiting. Waiting for the FedEx man, the UPS man, whoever's going to bring me my Mickey Loot. I got Mickey Loot coming, but I ordered it like the beginning of February. It's still not here yet, so I'm hoping it's just slowly getting put together. Maybe mine's going to be more special, and that's why it's taking so. so long. I don't know. And I'll keep my fingers crossed that in your box, there will be something of Donald Fauntleroy <laughs> Duck. Until next time, guys.